The following is a paid presentation for your wish is your command. The best-selling book, The Secret and the Law of Attraction, has become an international phenomenon. But can you really think your way to happiness, a new car and riches? I'm Skip Lindemann and this is A Closer Look. My guest is number one New York Times best-selling author Kevin Trudeau. His newest book is Your Wish is Your Command, How to Manifest Your Desires. Is it that fact or is it a fraud? Well, we'll find out. Kevin, welcome to the show. But before I ask you my first question about the fact or fraud, now most people know you as a consumer advocate, a health advocate, whistleblower, best-selling author, controversial radio talk show host. But a lot of people don't know that you founded over 60 corporations, including the Golf Channel in the United Kingdom, three TV networks, companies in teleservices, production, advertising, manufacturing, publishing, many other industries. Your global business empire has been reported to have generated over three billion dollars, billion with a B. Mm -hmm. Truly your success is unprecedented. What is the truth about this law of attraction? Well, I'm glad you brought that up because a lot of people don't know my business background and what I did on a global scale. <clears throat> but I didn't come from a wealthy family. Uh, my dad was a welder. Uh, I never went to college. I virtually flunked out of high school. I mean, I got a diploma, but I never went to college. So I didn't have connections. I didn't have a college degree or any fancy education. Didn't come from wealthy, well-connected parents. You know, I wasn't a Kennedy. <laughs> I didn't go to Harvard. Uh, you know, I wasn't a Trump. I didn't have the, the background, the money, the financing. But what happened was, when I was 15 years old, I got uh, exposed to an organization called the Brotherhood. And this group took me in and taught me how to use the law of attraction. And what that really is, is how to use your brain to act as a transmitter and receiver of frequency. And, and it, they taught me how to focus that to virtually attract into my life what I wanted. They told me that I could have, be, or do anything I wanted. Well, it sounded too good to be true, you know, the very young Still boy. Does. Still yeah. Does, yeah. But I did that and I made millions of dollars before I was 18. Wow. And I went on to generate a very large, successful empire all over the world in business and done some pretty, pretty amazing things. Best-selling books. I mean, a first-time author coming out with a book that was the number one selling book in America. It outsold Harry Potter and, uh, and the Da Vinci Code that year. It was number one in the New York Times bestsellers 26 weeks in a row. To have Rolls Royces and Ferraris and, and, uh, and spend time on super yachts around the world, flying the Concord, private jets, uh, live in, 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 in 25,000 square foot mansions around the world. So to have that type of lifestyle and type of wealth for somebody with no education, no financing, no, no, no loan guarantees, no backing, no, no uh, connections. How do you do that? And that's what I decided to write about. Now, I'm not a guy who's made money selling books on how to make money. Okay, right. you watch people on television, yeah. go to the store, you buy, you know, there's one book that's out there written by a guy who went bankrupt, then wrote a book on, wrote a book on how to get rich. <laughs> and he made all his money when people bought the book on how to get rich. Yeah. He wrote it when he was bankrupt. <laughs> so obviously he wasn't very successful. There's other, you know, uh, gurus on TV that sell audios and things on how to, you know, live a success, super successful life. And they've never done anything except sell books and, and audio programs on how to be successful. And that's where they made all their money. So I think the difference here is I've actually made a lot using these techniques. I know how they really work. And if you read the book The Secret, and learn about the law of attraction. I think it's an excellent, excellent book, and I recommend it. But, but there's a missing element to that, which is why so many people haven't succeeded. Well, and maybe this is it. Isn't it true? Many people using the law of attraction and try to attract a new car or more, more money failed. How, how, how do you explain that? It is that? true. You know, people, were, uh, people that were in the secret and talked about the law of attraction, they've been on the Oprah show. Yeah. They were on Larry King. And both Oprah and Larry King mentioned a lot of people bought the secret, tried to apply the law of attraction, and unfortunately, miserably failed. They didn't attract the new car. They didn't attract the better job. They didn't attract the better uh, career. They didn't attract the big home. They didn't attract money to pay off their bills. They didn't attract a relationship that they so desperately wanted. And they got very frustrated. But the fact is, there's a missing ingredient. What's that? Well, if you go back to where this started, Andrew Carnegie, at the turn of the century, was the richest man in the world. He owned U.S. Steel. And he hired a guy by the name of Napoleon Hill to study the rich people in the world, including Henry Ford, uh, Thomas Edison, Firestone, J.P. Morgan, all the super wealthy, and write a book about what is the secret. 
Well, he wrote a book in 1926 called The Law of Success in 16 Lessons. Henry Ford saw it, went crazy. Basically said, we don't want people to know the truth. <laughs> they got it pulled off the market. He edited it out, and now the watered-down version came out. And then the, the even more watered-down version was Think and Grow Rich. Yeah, I remember that. Right. That was so watered down. So people bought that in the millions, and a very small percentage actually found it to cause them to be successful. There's a missing element. Now, what happened with me is uh, I've used this in my life, and I've been incredibly successful. I've taught it to some very close friends. One particular gentleman in Portland, Maine, I taught the technique to. He went from working at UPS to, in two years, having a $150 million a year company. I taught it to a guy in Massachusetts. He was working in a pizza parlor, living in a one-bedroom apartment, uh, uh, say, uh, sleeping on a mattress, a blow-up mattress on the floor. And two years later, had over a $200 million company. $200 million in two years, work from working at a pizza joint. I taught it to a lawyer in Maryville, Indiana, who was working a little tiny one-man law, law firm, doing well, but a little tiny one-man law firm. I taught him this, and a few years later, hundreds of millions of dollars in a business. Hmm. So I've taught it to some people all across the world that have went from zero to hundreds of millions. Now, that's just money. But what occurred was, people said, Kevin, you need to write a book or do an audio cassette program or a seminar. I said, look, I'm not Tony Robbins. You know, and I'm not going to be running around. Nothing wrong with that guy. But you know, there's, there's guys like Brian Tracy, who's a, a, a friend of mine, who does a brilliant job. Zig, Zig Ziglar, for years, was a motivational speaker. One of my mentors, Ed Foreman, executive development assistant to Dallas. These are great motivational speakers. I said, that's not me. You know, I'm, I'm actually doing business. I'm not selling courses on how to get rich. I'm actually getting rich. But I was convinced because so many people came to me and said, we want to know what you know because you obviously know something that these gurus don't. Well, what was the missing link? I mean, I we still don't <coughs> Well, let me, let me finish the, tell the story here. So what happened was a couple years ago, I decided to teach some people that I, that I needed people that were serious about wanting more out of their lives. People that either wanted a better relationship, wanted to, to find a lover, uh, wanted to get into a you know a husband, a husband or a wife situation or a romantic relationship, wanted a nicer car, wanted riches, wanted something in their life, but they, they didn't have it. So I said, okay, fine, for two days I'm going to teach a seminar, first one I've ever done in my life, and I'm going to reveal secrets that I learned from the Brotherhood, from the organization I was a part of, that I was sworn to secrecy, hmm. kind of the missing secret ingredients to the law of attraction. So I held this in the Alps in Europe, hmm. figuring that it would cost a lot to get there. Yeah. And I charged $10,000 per person. So a bunch of people came. And for two days, I taught them the secrets of how to have, be, or do whatever they wanted. And I entitled the lecture or the workshop, Your Wish is Your Command, How to Manifest Your Desires. It virtually, I wanted to teach people how to have their own Aladdin's lamp. They could rub it and a genie would come out that would grant any wish they wanted. That sounds too good to be true, and it's great. But I said, $10,000. And I said, if you're not thrilled, after three months, I'll give you your money back. So a bunch of people came. I said, you be the judge. Yeah. So now, that's a pretty strong offer. Because yeah, if you, know, you paid ten grand yeah. plus an extra couple thousand to go to Europe and the Alps for sure. two days, and you got 90 days to say, was that worth it? You know, if it wasn't worth it, I'm getting it. Everyone's asking for their money back. Right. So I taught them these secrets, and I recorded it. Three months later. I didn't get one single person asked for their money back. Every single person told me they felt like they were pre-programmed or their brain was tuned to a different frequency so that when they left, it was almost like magic. They were attracting into their life things and they couldn't believe it. They, were, they felt they were, miracles were happening, that they were lucky. Uh, one guy on the second day, he was looking, he said, look, I have a Ferrari, I have a Rolls Royce, I fly around in private jets, I have money. I don't have a woman because I'm looking for a relationship. After day one, he went to a restaurant. Uh, the next day, he, he tells the story in the event. He said, I sat there by myself. This woman walks over to me and says, excuse me, are you sitting alone? He said, yes. She says, so am I. Oh, you're American. He says, yes. She goes, do you mind if I have dinner with you? He said, she lives two miles from where I live in America. <laughs> he said, I thought you had set this up. He goes, and I'm thinking, wait a minute yeah. here. Kevin sent this woman over. This can't be real. Of course, it was real. Yeah. But that's the type of magic that can happen that fast. So I put this together in the series, Your Wish is Your Command. 
And what I'm doing now is I, I'd sold this, uh, uh, again, the live event. I'm, I'm letting people buy this audio series. If a person calls today, I'm going to allow them to get it at 70% off. They don't have to pay 10000 They don't have to pay even 1000 They're going to get it 70% off the regular price of the program. And if a person calls today, we'll send it to them. They have 90 days. Listen to it, go through it, and if miracles don't happen in their life, send it back for a full refund, no questions asked. I don't know how you can do that. I mean, aren't you setting yourself up for a bunch of uh, people sending them back? Well, what do you think? I mean, how, how could I do that? Am I convinced that it'll work? Uh, I, I think you are. Am I convinced that people will like it? You must be. Am I convinced that miracles are going to happen? And here's why. Einstein, pretty smart guy. Right. Uh, Thomas Edison, obviously one of the greatest inventors of all time, they both said at the turn of the century that the human brain is virtually a transmitter and receiver of frequency. They said that, not me. Medical science foo-fooed this for years. But do you know today, uh, on the plane here from Chicago, I was looking at Sky Mall, which is the magazine. Right. And the play, they sell a bunch of things. Yeah. They have a device you put on your head, and you think a thought. And your brainwave frequency moves a ball on a game board. <laughs> oh, I guess Einstein and Edison were correct. Your brain emits frequency. The key is, how do you train it so that it emits the correct frequency of what you want? The secret and the law of attraction doesn't tell you that missing secret ingredient. It's the missing key. It's the, it's the element that makes this work. And so what I teach is I'll teach you what I learned from the Brotherhood. And quite frankly, these are the same techniques that members of Skull and Bones have learned from Yale University, yeah. uh, the, the uh, Bilderberg Group, uh, some people may f be familiar with some of these organizations. The Power Elite, uh, when you get to the highest level in Freemasonry, 33 degree level in Freemasonry, these are secrets of these various associations and societies on how to, we call it manipulating energy, it's really just how to, to beam the frequency of your brain of what you want so that it will come into your life. You know, Norman Vincent Peale, a couple generations ago, talked about the power of positive thinking. Is this the 21st century? Uh... It's a little bit. You know, I spoke with Dr. Norman Vincent Peale before he passed away in the 70s. Uh, uh, Cabot Robert was an, another gentleman I spoke with before he passed away. Uh, but there are a couple books that were written. The Power of Positive Thinking. There's another one called The Magic of Thinking Big. And a book called The Magic of Believing. Uh, Liberace, Arnold Schwarzenegger, uh, Bruce Lee. The list goes on of super successful people who came from nothing to super success. And they all say, the techniques in thinking grow rich, the techniques in the uh, magic of believing, the power of positive thinking work. The problem is when you read them, it's missing an ingredient. So it's like getting a recipe to make a cake. If it's missing an ingredient, you can make it, and it may taste good. And you may accidentally make it great. Accidentally. Accidentally. And that's what happened. So what I, what I did with your wish is your command, the reason I called it that is you virtually have the power to command whatever you want to happen in your life happen. You, can ha you have a genie that takes your orders, that will grant you your wishes. So if a person wants a better career, wants a better car, they can command it. And so that's what I do in the book. And also, when, when they call and get the audio series, the audio series I will give them a personal private invitation to an organization, it's a brand new organization, the Global Information Network, which will allow them to join with other affluent people from around the world that will help them become successful. And if a person calls, I'm also going to give them a $2,000 ticket to a live event where they can meet me personally, where they can go through the audio program, and then if they have questions, they can come totally free of charge. It's a $2,000 ticket so they can meet me, ask me questions to fine tune. Because I really want people to, uh, to get the benefit of this. The group that you call the Brotherhood, if you hadn't been taken under their wing, where would you be today? I'd probably be working uh, in, in the union someplace, or maybe out of a job today. Okay. I mean, think about it. When I grew up and I looked at my friends, they didn't, they didn't take advantage of this. I, I was sworn to secrecy. But when I tried to share this with some of my friends, they didn't understand that the simplicity was the magic. 
and so they didn't take advantage of it. They were virtually too brainwashed. Brian Tracy makes a great statement. He says, if you want things in your life to change, you're going to have to change things in your life. Yeah. And the first thing you have to change is the way you think. So if a person is out there and they don't have in their life what they want, they're going to have to change something. That's why I always say, if a guy is watching this right now and doesn't pick up the phone and get the Your Wishes, Your Command program, they'll always be a loser. Now, if the guy is completely happy and goes, I don't need this because I have everything in my life I want, I applaud him. I'm not talking about that guy. I'm talking about the guy who's home miserable. He's in debt, has a crummy relationship or none, uh, wants a new car, can't afford it, hates his job, hates his boss, hates the where, where he lives, hates his life, and wants everything to change, <laughs> right? But isn't willing to do anything okay, right. or change anything. See, yeah. if you want things in your life to change, you're going to have to change things in your life. There re really, Skip, is no other program on the market, and there's no book that has the information in the Your Wishes, Your Command program because nothing has ever been put together by somebody who has achieved success first. What about... I'm thinking there are selfish people who are going to want this. Um, you know, I, I want more wealth. Um, you know, what all the, all the religions say, be careful of wealth. You know, I want this. What, 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 how about that? But, uh, <clears throat> Profit's not a four-letter word. That's right. Uh, but rape is against the law. <laughs> so there's nothing wrong. And people, you know, when I was in school, uh, I went to a, a, a parochial school. And one of the sisters said to me, Mr. Trudeau, don't you know that money is the root of all evil? I said, you're, a misquote. I said you're misquoting the Bible, sister. It says the love of money is the root right. of all evil. Uh, it doesn't say money is the root of all evil. And if money was so bad, why did Jesus need a treasurer working for him? <laughs> you get kicked out of school? For <laughs> yeah, I got kicked out of that class. I said, you know, scripturally, it doesn't say anything bad about money. It says, above all things, I want you to be prosperous and be in health just as a soul prosperous. So there's nothing wrong with being prosperous, but loving money and using people is bad. Right. Loving money and using people. So yeah, greed is bad in that respect. But if you want to help your neighbor who has no heat because they can't afford it, if you're broke, what can you do for them? Yeah. Maybe give them a blanket. But if you have an abundance, out of your abundance you can help people. Yeah. So making money is not a problem. So if a person wants to make more money, there's nothing wrong with that. But making money at the expense of others that's obviously problematic. So this uh, program you have really is for all aspects of life. I mean, let's say I've got enough money, but I'm not happy with uh, something else. I, I could still take advantage of it. Yeah, the, the idea is this. <clears throat> your wish is your command. How to manifest your desires. That's the name of the program. Actually, part two is how anyone can make millions, the money-making secrets they don't want you to know about. But the first part is your wish is your command. How to manifest your desire. So the real thing is, what is your desire? And it doesn't have to be financial. But for most people, let's be honest, yeah. I want a nicer car. Right. You know, wouldn't it be great if I had a Ferrari? Wouldn't it be great if I had a nice boat? Wouldn't it be great if I took a vacation to Hawaii? Wouldn't it be great if I could quit my job and be financially independent? Wouldn't it be great if I could provide for my children's college education? Wouldn't it be great if I could get out of debt? Wouldn't it be, it be great if I had some help around the house, maybe a maid once a week? Mm -hmm. Or wouldn't it be great to go out to some nicer restaurants? Or, you know, I wrote the book Natural Cures. They don't want you to know about. Wouldn't it be great that we had the money to do all the things in the Natural Cures book to, to keep our health? You know, so we didn't have to be, you know, a slave to the drug industry. So whatever a person's desires are, I believe they can have, be, or do whatever they want. I believe they can have Aladdin's lamp and have a genie that they can give a command to. What this program does when a person listens to it, I give them the specific knowledge and the secrets that have been held back by the privileged elite class for centuries that have never been revealed. Napoleon Hill tried to do it, and Henry Ford stopped it. I'm doing it now, and I've already gotten threats. Mm. I mean, in the worst ways. I explain a little bit. When people get it, I'll, I'll explain. But what I'm doing is very revolutionary. There's not a book out there, I can tell you. There's not an audio program or a seminar that contains the information on here. When a person just listens to this seminar, I'm virtually reprogramming their brain. And I'll give you an example. If you can imagine a, a radio, and that radio has a dial. If you want to listen to country western music, you have to dial it to the country western station. If you want to listen to classical music, 
you have to dial it to that frequency. If you're on the classical frequency, you ain't never getting rock and roll. <laughs> so if your brain is dialed into poverty frequency, right. you ain't never getting a lot of money. If your brain is, is into the uh, screaming, hollering with my mate frequency, you're never going to have peace at home. If your brain is permanently dialed into the I'm alone frequently, you're never going to meet the woman or man of your dreams. Mm -hmm. So what this does is as I'm talking, I'm asking you questions so that you find out what you want and then I actually reprogram it almost for you so that your brain starts dialing in the frequency. That's why the guy who came to the event in the Alps when I recorded this, he wanted a relationship. And that night, in less than 24 hours, he had met the woman of his dreams as if by magic. Now since then, the people that have gone through the live event, without exception, some people have made millions of dollars. Some people have had, had lucky experiences, almost serendipitous, mm. or amazing coincidences. One guy missed his flight on the way to the airport in Zurich. And then while waiting for his next flight, bumped into somebody, they started a conversation, and now they're business partners in a multi-million dollar business deal. Things like that. I have lists of all these people that had gone through that live training, and now the people that have bought this at the full price are writing me the same types of letters. Mm. So again, if, if a person calls today, and they have to call today, it's a limited time, I'm going to give them the entire series, Your Wish is Your Command, How to Manifest Your Desires, it's 14 CDs, at 70% off. And they're going to get a free $2,000 ticket to a live event so they can meet me personally and ask me questions to make sure that they're using this and a 90-day unconditional money-back guarantee. So if they use it, if, if everything I say doesn't come true, if their life isn't, if they don't feel like they have the genie in Aladdin's lamp granting them their every wish, send it back. And they get a private personal invitation to join one of the world's most exclusive, elite, private organizations for affluent people so you can network with people around the world and help you develop wealth. Now this is a CD set. Why didn't you just write a book? I am going to write a book, but it's, quite frankly, it's very difficult to write a book. I've written uh, six bestsellers. Mm -hmm. It takes a lot of time to write a book. <laughs> it's a lot of work. So I recorded this live <clears throat> in the CD series. You actually learn differently from listening to something as you do from reading. So I am going to be coming out with a book, but that won't be till next year. But the CD series is one of the best ways to actually grasp this information. Now, Kevin, some critics say there's no scientific basis for the law of attraction. I, it seems like what you've had is anecdotal information, as they say. Yeah, well, the, the, the scientific question is, A, is the brain a transmitter and receiver of frequency? And for years, people said there's no scientific evidence of that. Well, there is now. I mean, sure, Einstein said it, and Thomas Edison said it, and half the billionaires around the world have said it for, for centuries. It's written in ancient texts. But science said there's no scientific evidence. Now we have it. We have uh, motorized units where paraplegics can put this on their head, and by thought, it'll go to the right, to the left, straight, backwards. There are units now where you put on your head a keypad for people who have no hands. They can think cat. And guess what comes up on the screen? Yeah. C-A-T. Yeah. Okay. Wow, you mean thoughts can be transmitted? Because a, a different thought, yes. We have, in, like I said, in SkyMall, the machine you put on your head, by thought, you can move a ball left, right, forwards, and backwards. Mm. We now know scientifically that the brain transmits and receives frequency. We also know that those frequencies affect physical matter in the universe at the quantum level. We know that now. It is scientifically proven. The real question is, can you use that to, to attract into your life what you want. That complete scientific documentation, I think, is coming. But the first two elements of the three are already proven, so it's just a matter of time before the science catches up with the reality. Why did Henry Ford and others uh, not want people to have it? You know, if I'm wealthy, I'd like other people to be wealthy. I mean, why? <laughs> That's not how it works. When you're in Skull and Bones, the Secret Society, or the highest levels of Freemasonry, or the Bilderberg Group, or the Trilateral Commission, or the Council on Foreign Relations, or the Brotherhood, like I was a member of. You're basically uh, part of a group that believes we want to keep this information to ourselves. We don't want competition. 
And so there's a huge divide in America, very controversial, but in America over the last 20 years. The amount of uh, money that the wealthy quarter of 1% have has gone up a hundredfold. And that means it comes from the rest of the group. So there is a bigger divide between the super wealthy and the rest of America. Middle class is going down and the poor are getting hit the hardest. Yeah. So there's this huge divide and it continues to increase. That's one of the reasons why I left the Brotherhood because I don't think that's fair. I think everyone should have access to this information. If they choose to take it, that's fine. That's why I put this together. It's the first time in history that this information is being released to the general public on a, lar a large scale. But get quite, get, guess what? There's people watching this who ain't going to call. So I, that's fine. They can stay in the position they're at because without this knowledge, I can guarantee them, their life's never going to change. I think it was Gandhi who said, you must be the change you'd like to see occur or something like that. And, you, and your friend Brian, uh, Brian Tracy, yeah. uh, said the same thing. So this is something you believe all people can learn, like, like playing the piano. You know, some people are better at piano than others. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and that's a good example. If you took uh, 100 people and they all started uh, at the same spot, and after a week, they took piano lessons. At the end of a week, some people are going to be much better than others in that group based on their talent and ability. But everyone will be better than when they started. So same thing here. Not everyone is going to listen to this and become a millionaire in 24 hours or a week or a month or a year. Not everyone's life is going to change uh, to uh, the same degree as someone else. In this respect, the government loves to use the phrase, individual results will vary. Yeah. And I think that's really pretty to be safe. They always vary. <laughs> okay. yeah. But when a person goes through this, can everyone learn this? Yes. Can everyone dramatically get better from where they're at? Yes. In my opinion, everyone can do much better than where they are right now. And I believe that there's no place on planet Earth, matter of fact, I know, that there's no place on planet Earth you can get the information in the Your Wishes, Your Command program. That's why if a person calls now, they have to call today, they get the Your Wishes, Your Command 14 CD program, the home study version, at 70% off the regular price. They get a 90-day unconditional guarantee. Go through it. If their life isn't magically changed, if they don't feel like they have Aladdin's lamp and the genie in the bottle, send it back for a full refund. If whatever they want hasn't manifested, if they're not thrilled, they'd be the judge. Send it back for a full refund. And I'm also going to include a $2,000 free ticket to one of my live events so they can come, meet me personally, ask questions, because I want them to have, be, or do whatever they desire. I believe they can. All right. Now, um, do you, you know, you can say, I've got a $2,000 ticket to come to talk to me. Are you all over the country? Yeah, we're putting on events next year uh, all over the United States. So we'll put on a whole bunch of one-day events. The ticket will be for, obviously, the one in the closest location. They can go to anyone they want. And... Uh, I know when they come in, they can ask questions. They can also listen to the other people ask questions, too. Right. That live event and network with other folks can be pretty life-changing. But I believe that people who get this program, listen to it, their life, their individual life is going to be different than when they started. And I know the information is just not available anywhere else in any other form. So I would just really encourage people to, to, to take advantage of this secret knowledge on how to have beer do whatever they want. All right, Kevin, we have to leave it right there. That's Kevin Trudeau. I'm Skip Lindemann. This has been A Closer Look. Thanks for being with us. The proceeding was a paid presentation for Your Wish is Your Command.